going on everybody welcome back to another video uh, today's Friday the 13th actually I just thought about it it's Friday the 13th it's a miserable rainy day and uh, I'd love to be out hunting today but they're calling for some really heavy rain unfortunately I should have done this yesterday in the last video um, I should have brought my ground blind with me and put it out because they went rain today into tomorrow morning so in order to be able to hunt tomorrow I gotta get this ground lined up so I'm just gonna bring you guys with me uh, just in case anything happens maybe get some tips and pointers on how I do these ground blinds and uh, we're gonna continue this video into tomorrow's video which would be the hunting portion so without further ado I'm going to go get this ground blind into the woods. There's so many trails in here. It makes picking the spot really hard because back through there, I mean, deer could easily come through there. I never really see him come that way, but it's possible. So I'm gonna get this uh, ground blind set up. These things are so easy to put up anymore. The more important part, I'm gonna try to brush this thing in as best I can. And after, after I brush it in, I'm gonna try to make some trails through the grass here. Whether I have to get down and roll to flatten out some of this grass, I don't know. We'll see what happens, but there's a good chance I'm gonna have to get down and roll the grass. Just, uh, we'll have to see once we get inside, I don't know. Wow. I know it don't look like much, but... I don't think it's too bad. It's definitely better than just a plain blind. So, let's see what it looks like on the inside. a little difficult I think um, just because I brushed it in pretty heavy um, maybe cut some of this stuff back just open up the windows a little bit I don't want to go too much because tomorrow is the last day of deer season so these deer have been pushed and shot at for two weeks I would really like to, to roll a shooting lane or two dumb as it sounds and as wet as I'm gonna get I don't think it would be the worst of ideas so I'm gonna give it a whirl like right that way I think going that way much of a difference that's going to make, but uh, I got really wet doing it, so <sighs> I was going to do two, but I'm, I'm soaked. I mean, my pants are soaked, so <sighs> I, I think that's going to be it. We're going to stay dry tomorrow, be able to hunt, so I'm excited. Never shot a deer out of ground blind before. I spent tons of time putting them up, but uh, never really got to hunt out of one, especially with a gun. Definitely never with a gun. 
so should be pretty interesting. Uh, for tomorrow, I'm excited. I'll see you guys in the morning. So I know you guys can't see me, and that's well because it's really dark. I just had somebody shoot what it sounded like over top of my head, and uh, it really sounded. So, if you can't tell, it's pouring out rain. So, this morning, my dad came. He sat here with me for a little while. We actually did have four deer come out uh, in the power line. And either they heard us talking, they seen us, or they smelled us. One, one of the three. And uh, Big Doe had us pinned from the get-go. Never could get the camera on her. Um, unfortunate. Would have been, I don't know, 50, 60 yards. Perfect shot. But she's seen us. So, I'm going to sit in the rain, enjoy the solitude. Nobody's bothering me today. So, it should be a good, hopefully, rest of the day. If this rain stops in enough time, I might make a move to the tree stand. That's just, that's where I'm more comfortable, but I can't be out with this camera here or my gun in this rain, it's just, it's pounding. So, I'm gonna sit back at comfy, see what happens.
just uh, one, make it darker in here, and two, uh, less viewing area for the deer to see me. <clears throat> Another rifle season in the books. I feel terrible at not getting to show you guys anything today. But that is hunting. That's that's real hunting, you know? Oh, I really did want to fill my tag today and just be done. Uh, just I love deer hunting, I always will, but I've been going pretty hard the past couple of weeks. A little burned out, but I still have a doe tag to fill. Um, whether that might be flintlock, I might try to give flintlock a try. My father-in-law has one, I might ask him if I can use it. Uh, I'll, I'll shoot it beforehand, but. If not, that leaves late archery season to try to fill a doe tag. Not looking forward to that. Just because it's going to be so cold. And uh, pulling a bow back in the cold is just... Oh, God. It's not the easiest thing in the world. There's no leaves on the trees. Everything's wide open. you got to watch what you're doing. Make sure the deer don't see. Uh, makes it difficult. So... The deer vlog lives on, boys. It's gonna keep going. Gonna take a little break from it for a little while, uh, just until the season opens back up. But once the season opens back up, I'm gonna be back at it. It looks like. Really do need that one more deer to fill the freezer for the winter. So, all right, guys. Rifle season's in the books. I just want to say thank you guys so much for your continued support. The other night we. Uh, we crashed the 1,000 subscriber milestone, and that's going to be a separate video um, coming up really, really soon. i got to probably film it tomorrow. So I just want to say thank you guys so much. The, the support that you guys have been giving me is unbelievable right now. So until then, I'll see you guys next time. I hope everybody had a good deer season, made it through it safely. See you guys.